Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So this morning we got a brand new Cimarron Northstar two horse bumper pull sitting behind me. This is a 2023 model. This one actually is a customer's ordered trailer. That's If you've been watching our videos, that's what you see a lot of when we're able to video these Cimarrons is pretty much everything sold. But what's cool is, is you know, Cimarron is a, is a custom trailer manufacturer. So we can build these basically however you want them, lay them out how you'd like, you get to pick the options. I mean, it's really a unique process and really a fun process because at the end of the day, you get what you want. So this one here again is a, a trailer that more than likely I think we had on order and then they went ahead and put their name on it. We made the changes. We, we still had time to do that. So we have the ability to build you something straight from custom right from the get go or we can look at what we already have on order and then tweak it to your liking from there but let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing on this trailer just so i can kind of show you some specs show you some of the things that this customer wanted they wanted it extra tall and wide that's the big thing on this trailer so standard width is 610 wide you'll notice this one here is 76 wide standard height on a cimarron is 71 this one's seven four. So they wanted that extra tall, extra wide. Two horse with a front tack room. So real some some there'll be some basic options on this that come standard, and then there'll be some options that the customer actually went ahead and did. Uh, let's walk you through it because again, this is the what you can do to a trailer. Now we do inventory a lot of these, so it's not like it's something completely out of left field. I mean we go ahead and do a lot of these type of trailers so we can build you something very similar to this or possibly have something on order. Very first thing is, is on these you're gonna get a three foot basically tongue on them. So from the front of the nose to the actual hitch is three foot. So that's what it adds to the overall length on this trailer. You know, when you get into your bumper poles and maybe you're getting into your big three, four, five horse bumper poles that you're pulling behind maybe a motor home or possibly even motorhome and then a truck. An adjustable coupler can be done, a 20,000 capacity coupler can be done, and we can move that up and down, so then it'll ride level. But for most passenger vehicles, trucks, you know, SUVs that would tow something like this, this is a setup that's ideal for that. You have a two and five sixteenths ball, that's standard. Uh, you rarely see a two inch ball in today's market on new trailers, not to say that they're not out there, but pretty much everyone's gone to a two and five sixteenths. You have your hand crank jack by Bulldog. You know, if you wanted to go an electric route, that could be done, or electric over hydraulic, that could be done as well through our parts and service department. On this one here, you have the polished stainless nose. Just kind of gives it a nice finished look to the trailer. You have the diamond plate, about 18 inches up to kind of protect that from kind of that road blast as you're going down the road as far as that's concerned. And then as we get into the tack room, now this is where kind of some of the custom options start coming into play that this customer wanted. One of the very first things I want you to notice is the width of that door. That is a 42 inch wide door. We're a big fan of these bigger doors. We understand you're gonna be hauling big tack, big saddles, totes, those type of items in these trailers. So having a nice big wide opening is definitely beneficial. There's also a couple other things that come into play as well. This customer wanted a four tier swing out saddle rack. So now these are adjustable here. So I can move these up and down. If I wanted to take one out, two out, I could do that. But the other thing comes into play is that 42 inch wide door. Because when we go to swing this in, if you have a narrower door, you have the potential of your saddles dragging across these door frames. And that's not what we want. So the other thing I want you to notice too, is if you have saddles on this, look at this gap right here. I can still walk in. There are some manufacturers that'll do a swing out, but it's on a narrow door to where either you're getting stuff off of this and you can't get in, or you got to swing it in to get back into the trailer. But now our saddles are right here at ground level. The other thing on the door, they did a four tier blanket pole rack on a gas shock, just like on that saddle rack. So it swings out very easy to use. You've got your door organizer behind it. Real simple to use there, good place to just keep things organized. The other thing is we're big advocates if you are familiar with our inventory, fold up steps. Whether it's an extra wide trailer, standard width, we really like incorporating uh, fold down steps at tack doors. And the main reason why is if you look at where I'm standing compared to this bottom 
framework of this door itself. That's a pretty big step. And again, as we're moving items in and out, boy, it makes it a lot simpler to have this step and easy transition into this tack room. So we're big advocates of that. They can be added to trailers after the fact. It just depends on if it's got a running board on it or not. That kind of comes into play. As you see on this one, it, they actually taper the running board. That's why we like to do that. It just gives it a cleaner finished look to the trailer when it's all said and done. So you'll notice, again, when we order a lot of our inventory trailers, we're gonna have steps on these tack doors. Now this one here is, is, is set up for a battery. If they wanna add that in here, there is a battery disconnect that's been added in here. But they've done a couple other things. There's a boot box here, 12 inch, that comes across this back wall here. Uh, it's great for miscellaneous storage in here. You know, it's tucked away uh, from the opening, so it really doesn't come into play as far as affecting the flow of this tack room itself. Behind me is that spare tire. And we like to go in and carpet all the partition walls on these Cimarron's. Uh, we understand that, you know, you have these big bridle hooks up here. These are aluminum uh, powder coated, but that tack will actually swing against the wall as we're in transit. So we don't want that, the, our actual tack and, you know, those bridles and those uh, bits actually rubbing against an aluminum wall. Plus it also makes a lot of noise for the horses on the other side. But instead of just doing kind of carpet right where these are, what if down the road they want to add more bridle hooks? Very simple to do. You can kind of place them, you know, wherever that support is, but then you can add more and it's already carpeted. So we like going in and doing that to all of our Cimarron's, especially these slant load trailers, just doing that option itself. The other thing is a corner water tank. We could add these after the fact, but we just go ahead and order a lot of the inventory with that. It's nice to be able to carry that water on hand. That's a 25 gallon gravity feed water tank. Uh, that way, if you're traveling to a show, you know, in traffic, going to a trailhead, you have a finicky horse, only likes water from home, or being able to, to travel and, and maybe you get in a traffic situation where you need to get some buckets and get some water to the horses, you've got it right here at the trailer. You don't have to go try to find water or a hydrant, anything like that. One of the other things, this is something that we're starting to incorporate a little bit more. We've done this flooring on a couple of our, our livestock show trailers. So now we're kind of incorporating it on the horse trailer side of it. But it's this gray rubber with again, kind of that diamond plate look to it. So it's got a lot of grip to it. It's really easy to clean. Uh, in, our, in our opinion, it's actually easier to clean than the rubber mats. You know, the carpet on the floor is great early on, but boy, you over time, you're gonna have this path right here that just gets beat down, um, you know, from just usage itself. And the other thing too is, is like shavings and hay when it gets embedded down in there, it's really hard to get out. So we're, we're really doing, starting to do this on a few more trailers. You'll see it more on our inventory stuff. This customer opted to do it. We showed him one of those other ones and we really like this as far as that's concerned there. So again, a really cool setup as far as that's concerned. Uh, one of the other things is we like doing these 16 inch awning lights. We understand that you're gonna be, you know, loading, unloading, tacking up, unsaddling in the dark from time to time. Having light coverage is really important. Those are 16 inch LEDs. They shoot down and out, give you a lot of light coverage itself. Now this customer upgraded from the 3,500 pound rubber torsion axles to 5,200 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. And one of the main reasons why is they didn't want 15 inch wheels, they wanted 16. So as you can see, these here are a 16 inch wheel, Goodyear tires, you know, this is a really good setup under this size of a trailer as far as that's concerned. One of the things you also get is you get these nitrogen filled and balanced tires. So the tires are gonna actually travel down the road better, uh, a more balanced even as far as tread itself goes, wear across the tire by having them balanced. The other thing is that nitrogen filled, it helps with PSI levels from fluctuating drastically. You know, here in Colorado, I mean, we'll get to 50 degrees at night and then we'll get up to upper 90s, almost 100 during the day. So we have major temperature differences. So PSI levels don't fluctuate as drastically if they're nitrogen filled. There's some kind of misconceptions out there. Some people don't think you can put air to these. You can, if you have a slow leak, something like that, you can put air to it perfectly fine. 
Uh, we always recommend though, go and find yourself a tire shop that maybe can fix that and then refill it with nitrogen so you get those benefits. You also get a one year, no questions asked warranty from Lion's Head, the vendor that Cimarron uses on these wheels and tires. So you catch a nail, road debris, anything like that within the first year, they'll replace it for free. That's through the Lion's Head, not through Cimarron, that vendor. Uh, but we can help you out with those if you get into those type of scenarios. Bus windows, standard on the hip wall. Cimarron does a really good job on trying to maximize the size of those bus windows to try to get us as much airflow. You have to remember, only half of that window is gonna slide open. So getting as big a windows as we can is really important as far as that's concerned there. At the back of the trailer, since this one is seven six wide, extra wide, we actually do 50-50 rear doors. When we get into our standard uh, scenarios where it's six ten wide, typically we do a 60-40 setup. So a bigger door on the right, smaller door on the left, but when we get that extra width, we go ahead and do the dual 50-50 doors. If your horse is more of a ramp load type, prefers that, if you wanted to add a ramp, we could. We could remove this rubber bumper, attach it right over it, over the back doors. We do carry ramps on hand, but we typically carry white. And I'll show you, you probably noticed already that this trailer here is the silver metallic. We'll show that to you when we get to the other side here. Um, but we could order that, that ramp in and get that added to you here through our parts and service department. So with it being a little bit wider, you notice that we have some wheel well in here. If you go eight foot wide, you'll have even deeper. I mean, that's just the way it works. One thing that this customer also wanted was bigger stalls. So this front stall is three inches bigger than our standard. And then we added nine inches to the back stall. And the one reason why that is, is one to have that extra width for that horse, but now we can keep a solid divider rather than a telescoping. We can actually you know, get it against the wall, shut the back doors to where if you do a, a standard stall, you know, this divider is actually gonna stick off the wall itself in order to shut the back doors. But we really like this. We do that along all of our inventory stuff too. We, we prefer you know, solid dividers. There are situations where telescoping dividers are called for, but on these type of scenarios, we really try to keep it as, as solid like we're looking at here. So then you have this you know, solid divider up, on the, up by the shoulder, padded as well. It's got this big spring. So as I let go, it actually pulls towards the driver's side of the trailer. So now when you're loading and unloading horses, that big spring's wanting to hold it that way. I don't have to use one hand to hold the divider open, leading the horse on or off this trailer. So definitely some benefits there. When you're looking at a Cimarron, you're looking at the best floor on the market. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> Truly, look underneath the floor of a Cimarron. It's a 12 inch deck. It's extruded. It's tongue and groove high and low, so it locks into place and gains even more strength as you build these trailers and put them together but they're four inch centers. So wherever you have a horse standing, they're standing on a support beam. My opinion, cheaper trailers, as far as a price point goes and quality, is their centers start spreading apart. So it's very easy to look underneath the trailer and just kind of see the quality of the build if you just start with the floor and then go up from there. So we have the best floor on the market. Then they're all capped off with this roof. So it's an insulated roof. It's standard on every single Cimarron. So doesn't matter what model you're looking at or a $250,000 living quarters or a bumper pull like this. They're all gonna have the exact same roof on them. So that is a half inch thick, it's reinforced, it's honeycomb. It can handle about 150 pounds per square foot. So it's really, really durable. I mean, I can walk on these roofs and it will not dent it. Um, it'll take substantial hail as well. But most importantly is it keeps the stall area cooler, about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof. It makes a massive difference when you're actually in the stalls on these hot you know, summer days out here on this asphalt. You come in here at five o'clock when it's been 95, 100 degrees all day. Step into one of these Cimarron's that's been sealed up with an aluminum, uh, insulated roof and then go over to a manufacturer with aluminum roof and you will tell a massive difference in just the comfort level in these stalls itself. So, you know, we're, we're capping off with the best floor, that insulated roof. Then we have the wheel and tire uh, warranty. Then you have an eight year structure and three year hardware warranty on this trailer itself. So they really stand behind the product. 
A couple other things they upgraded to is just corner feeders. These can always be added after the fact. These are a real simple one, but they went ahead and did it. So it's stall one and stall two. You can kind of see it tucked back underneath the divider right there. Uh, just little simple things like that we can go in and add after the fact. Now, the heavy duty kick mats, kick mats are standard on them, but what they do is on a heavy duty option like this one was, is they actually use the floor matting. So that thickness of floor matting, then they do that on the side walls, the front partition wall itself. So really, really heavy duty kick mats throughout this trailer, even on the back doors. I mean, you know, you've got, if you got somebody that likes to kick, I mean, now, now we're dealing with some real heavy duty uh, kick mats as far as that's concerned. Now on these big wide openings like this, we actually go in and do a strap across the back rather than a bar. And the reason why is, look, that's a big piece of metal. You break it loose from the wall and you have a horse bump it. That's one large piece of butt bar coming at you and could pot potentially hurt you. You know, this here, if something happens and hit it, you literally just drop it and it goes down. So on these type of scenarios, we per prefer the strap. If we had a rear tack on here, a folding rear tack, you know, then we can do a shorter bar. Uh, if you'd like, we could also do a, a small strap. Usually one thing that we've been doing as far as our inventory is concerned is if we do a folding rear tack, there's potential of you actually collapsing it down. Well, then your butt bar does no good. So we're doing the butt bar option and then adding a strap to it as well. So whichever scenario you want to go with, you've got some support right back here as well. You also have that extra height, seven, four tall. Now, the standard width on a Cimarron is seven, one. Most manufacturers are seven. That's the way they've always done it. And the easiest way to tell is if you look at these big drop windows and the top rail of this trailer, the standard height those two actually kind of butt right up against each other to where this one there's a little bit of a gap and that's why i can tell this one's seven four tall and as obviously as we start going up in height seven 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 ten eight one we can continue to go up that gap gets wider because we still want to be able to grab a hold of handles uh, and not just shift everything completely up in the air but you get these heavy duty drop windows as well you know, these are massive, massive framework. This is all frame around these windows. These are items you're gonna use every time you open, or as far as using this trailer is open and closing these more than likely. You've got the jail bars that come down as well. You could add uh, the screens for the actual jail bar bars themselves, but real solid seal to them. Again, these are items you're gonna use every time. So why have a real flimsy you know, door drop window that potentially has the ability to break. I mean, let's do this, you know, really heavy duty. So they'll hold up over time. You get these welded hinges with grease certs. Again, adding longevity to this trailer by being able to just go ahead and maintain, actually putting grease to them. Uh, you can also lock these windows. There's a lot of different things like that you can do. Again, here we'll take a step back here so you can see that silver metallic. So they, that is an upgrade. White is standard. And then from there, you can go silver metallic, uh, charcoal metallic, black, champagne. Those are kind of the main colors. They can do some custom trailers. I've seen green, I've seen red, I've seen blue. So you can go into those type of situations. And they also opted for the black wheels with the silver kind of accent to it. Uh, I really like that combination because it really ties in well with these trailers. You know, you're dealing with this kind of mill finish, silver extrusion. Then you're gonna have the black hardware on the doors, the window frames. I think it just really ties in there well. You know, you get those aluminum wheels standard, whether it's just silver, or you can go with like this black type option as well. So unfortunately, this trailer is not available. It is sold. They're gonna be come getting it here in the next day or two, uh, but it gives you a good idea on some of the stuff we can do, some of the options we can look at we can spin off of this and do even more. I mean, it's not to say that we're set in stone. Uh, a Cimarron is like a fingerprint. You can make every one of them unique and different. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on it for reference. So if you're interested in this trailer, something just like it, or, hey, I wanna do, I want that trailer, but I wanna do this, just reference this. It is a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull. The stock number is 5N220129.
We do take trade-ins, and if you have a trailer sitting around you want to turn into cash, we do buy trailers as well. So give us a call. Anyone on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.